Hi, Redheaded Virgin Head here. I didn't read yesterday's and it's on hope. I want to read it. William Barclay's Daily Celebration. Because it was about the church at a crossroads and now it's about hope. The church must nevertheless be the one institution which cannot know despair. The Christian faith, in the Christian faith, there is hope for the world. It is possible to look at the world and to feel that men are possessed by a kind of suicidal insanity which cannot end in anything other than a disintegrated chaos. But as Bengt Sundkler, I don't Sun. Declare tells us in his fine biography of Nathan Sonderholm, Sonderblom, I don't know who any of these people are, used to say often, "'Tis only remedy to give the commonwealth of nations a Christian soul, because without that soul it is a dead body with a non-Christian soul. It is a beast or a devil." Christ has a remedy for the human situation. The application of that remedy is the business of the church. In the Christian faith, there is hope for men. Time and again, I have quoted that sermon title in one of Fostick's volumes. No man need stay the way he is. Often a person will defend himself or herself by saying, I can't help it. I'm made that way. That's my nature. I can't change myself. That is sheer heresy. Yes, it is true that man cannot change himself, but if Christ cannot change him, then the whole claim of Christianity is a lie. But if the church is to change the world and to change men and women, it must be changed itself. The more one sees of the church, the more one senses a deep down added attitude of defeat. There are so many people in the church who have simply accepted the situation, diminishing and aging congregations and increasing irrelevance in the eyes of the common man. There are many who are well aware of these things, but they have simply accepted them as things with about which there is nothing to be done. A church which has accepted the situation like that is a church which is on the way to death. God give us not this the defeatism which accepts things as they are, but the divine discontent which in the life and the strength of Jesus Christ will battle to change them.